Hi friends. In the last session, we have learned how to create a table by analyzing our source data and columns, right? So in this session, I'm going to show you how to insert this data into our table by using two methods, that is GUI and commands. Okay, let's go to our table and right click on the table and click edit top 200 rows to edit or insert new records using GUI. Now let's enter our values into these columns, name into name, role into role like that. Okay, now we have completed one row of data. So I want to save this into our table. So in order to save, just click on the next row. So it saves into our table automatically. And then copy other record as well. Okay, next, click on the next row again. So data has been saved in our table. Let's verify that. Right click on the table and click select top thousand records. Now it shows that two records. That means data has been saved, right? So this is how we can insert data using GUI. So now let's go ahead and uh, insert the other records using query. So in order to get the query to insert a record into our table, right click on the table and go to script table as and insert into and new query editor window. So it gives us the syntax to insert a record into our table. So if you notice, it is showing all the columns that in a sequential order and also values in a sequential order with the data type. So we have to specify, we have to enter the ID as big integer and name as var care like that. So let's copy our data into here. So let's copy other record three uh, into here and then Eric into here. So when we specifying when for nvar care or non-numeric data types, we have to specify the value within single quotes. Then only it will take it as a right syntax. Otherwise it will not allow, it shows you an error. For big integer or numeric data types, no need to specify the single quotes. It's not mandatory, but uh, we can specify if you want. So no difference, okay? But it will also allow without single quotes for no, for numeric data types. For non-numeric, we have to specify within single quotes, okay? So for, in this case, if we have any single quote between the text like this, uh, then we have to specify that double times so that it resolve correctly. So got it? So we have to specify our NVARC data types within single quotes. Yep. Go to other row and web developer copy that into here within because that's a character type copying into single quotes and then again copy this. For date, it's not a numeric, right? So single quotes, mandatory. So we have prepared our query now. So it's in right syntax. So all are, so remember here, we have the number of columns that we specify in the columns list must match with the number of columns that we specify in the values. And the sequential order of the columns should match with the sequential values. If you, by mistake, if you copy Eric into a role in the next to the web developer, then it doesn't give any error, but it saves records uh, incorrectly in the employee table. That means Eric will go to role and we, web developer will uh, go to name, right? So we have to be careful with sequential order of these columns uh, when we insert using SQL queries. Okay, now let's execute by using this one or by using F5. So let's execute from here. So one record ex affected. So similarly, we can also insert multiple rows by specifying comma and then uh, same set of records again. So let's see, let's copy my query again here. So it looks like this. So if you want to insert multiple rows at a time into the table, then you can specify with comma and then set again, comma, set again, comma, set again, like that. 
okay so i have already inserted this one so i'm removing that i'm executing this query so fire was affected so let's uh, check the data using sql query okay so all that data has been loaded right we can also insert into table instead of values if you select like this and if you remove all these yep so when you execute the select statement this will also give you the same result so you can also insert into your table using select query like this okay so the first syntax has values in it that's a default syntax and this this means we are inserting the data from by selecting something from a table or uh, static values and we are inserting into table so this is an another syntax that we can follow to insert into table now execute again so it's inserted another row into our table so in using select query if you want to insert multiple rows then union all or union you have to use union or union all okay let's copy this same row again and paste again just uh, change something some team uh, to okay so if you want to insert two rows into insert table then you can use select query as well using union so it inserts two rows otherwise you can also use union all it inserts the same thing so bit, the difference between union and union all is union if you have a duplicate values here suppose let me take four so this one if you execute this so it gives only one record because both are same right so in that case so it inserts only one record if, if you use union but even you want even duplicates want if you want duplicates to be inserted into your table based on your requirement then you have to use uh, union all then it will give both the records and it inserts both the records even duplicates so this these are the different ways we can use to insert into a table and we have another way that is uh, instead of using uh, the static row we can also write like uh, uh, in taking from a table like select star from like uh, the columns let's say i want to copy another employee table to this table new table so let's copy the columns from dbo dot employee so i want to copy so let's say this is old table and this is a new table i want to copy from this table to this table so i can also copy like this using so execute so 16 records are copied into this table from this table so we can also use a query like this to insert into table so i think it makes sense please comment if you have any questions and like share subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thank you